I uh, wish for live in about another minute or so. By the way, if you guys see me okay, just make sure we have good quality this morning. Uh, if you guys hear me okay and is a picture quality looks okay, please let me know in the, the chat room section uh, right underneath, okay, or side, whatever. Just let me know. Just make sure we are all good this morning. Okay, so let's see here. Dan, how's my sound quality and picture quality okay? Just make sure check it. Because we started doing our live session here. For some reason, we have some technical issues earlier yesterday. So just make sure we are all good this morning. Let's see. Waiting for you. Look like, hold on, we are all good here, OK? Uh, so let's get going. So as you can see, I got my this uh, the pot thing on my ear. I forgot my uh, lapel mic. I think I do enjoy that lapel mic, even though there's a lot of wire, but man, this, I, I don't know about, wh which one sounds better? You think it sounds of this one better or the, my other mic better? Let me know in the comment section as well, okay? Anyway, uh, let's get going. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. So this morning, we're gonna try, okay, so yesterday we did a single mod for Bravo Brista Pro. So this is my Brista Ex Express. So uh, I switched over to my Brista Express this morning for this single mod from Singapore. And uh, anyway, so let's dial some coffee beans again. So we're gonna dial in another coffee beans from Sun Bear from Florida, uh, St. Petersburg, Florida. So. Uh, so let's try that. So yesterday we did, uh, let's say, Hondura uh, light roast yesterday. Again, the light roast is very tricky to dial in. So this is another lighter roast. Not as bad, but still uh, more like medium to light, okay? Uh, yesterday was more like light. So this is a Hondura one. Uh, tasting note is more like honey. So, I mean, if you are new to the Barista Express, it's not like Brista Pro. Brista Pro is a lot easier to use. Okay? But Brista Express is all about the buttons. So what I'm gonna do is, since we are using the lighter roast again, so I'm gonna change my temperature to, let's go like plus, plus four. Okay, let's do that, plus four. Okay. So if you're new to the, again, Brista Express, once you get in the program mode, the single cup button represent plus two. Double cup represent the plus four there. And then contrary, we got the minus two and minus four. So this morning, I wonder I can do it in one hand, change the temperature right now. So again, uh, so changing temperature, hold down the program button and power button at the same time. Right now we are at plus two, let's go plus four. So this morning we're gonna have plus four. And then I already dosed out 21 grams, so that's how much what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna flush my shot here. Oops. Just make sure everything is nice and hot. That's one great thing about Brista Express. You can actually warm up the machine, okay? And I've been warming up for the last, about 40 minutes. So, I mean, everything is nice and warm on the warmer tray. Porter filter is nice and hot right now. So we are all good to go. So let's dose out. Uh, so we're gonna be using 21 gram. Okay, actually 21.7 gram there. So let me show you guys, just make sure. So, so this is even worth getting, okay? And then we are going to talk more about that later as well about this dosing system. Okay, I'm just gonna put it in. I mean, it looks good overall. It's fine on my kitchen counter here. So just about done. If you hear that the empty note, just make sure I tap the bellow. 
They got 21 gram. Yeah, I mean, we are right on it. Okay, we are right on it. So, I mean, it works pretty good. Okay, comes to if you, are, if you guys are looking for zero dosing modification for Freestyle Express or Pro, man, you guys are so clever out there. What you guys can do with all the 3D prints, man. But again, and uh, I think I, you know what? Uh, we're gonna talk about this, you know, shortly, okay? Because I got a lot of comment about uh, these products. Some positive, some negative. I'm just I'm using the bottomless pore filter again this morning. I'm really enjoying the bottomless pore filter lately, you know. Make sure to make one of these, okay? So I think I have the, uh, so this is the kind of like uh, the printer, okay? Group head cleaner, the needle. Also, you know, acupuncture needle too, similar type. Very sturdy, very uh, flexible. It doesn't get bent like my paper clip, okay? So much better than my paper clip. And so what I usually do is, this is a puck rake. I'm just gonna rake it. You're kind of like doing your landscaping at home. Okay, I'm just gonna nice and make the everything all fluffy here. Yep. As you can see now, everything's nice and fluffy. I'm just gonna give it a quick distribution. Let me just give you a quick temp. Okay. Uh, by the way, if you guys are curious about the grinder setting, with Brista Pro and Brista Express, you only have about 16 options. So this morning I'm set at number eight, right on the middle there. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull those shots. So I'm gonna be doing one to two ratio. I got like 21 gram in. Let's do uh, 42 gram out, okay? Let's do 42 gram. All right, so hopefully, you know what, we get lucky today. I mean, yesterday we have to die in like three times, so. So that was work, but hopefully we're gonna get easier time with this lighter roast here. I'm just gonna set it at zero. Okay, so this is Lawanda. Copy from Lawanda. Okay, I got the pressure looks good. Shot looks good overall. Okay. I got 40 gram, perfect, okay. Overall, man, you know what, looks not bad. Shot looks awesome. I got some tiny bit of channeling to the side, but that's not a big deal there. Yeah. Overall looks great. I think I might, uh, what I can do is, we're gonna do one more shot here. And then I'm gonna up my dosing amounts to 22 gram next time. Pretty much the same setting. The pressure is good. Okay, so let's try this, okay? Happy Tuesday. So it comes to tasting notes, it's a honey flavor. So let's find out we got the honey on it. Guess tomorrow's good. Okay, it's right. We are very, very, uh, very close. Okay, so I think we're gonna do one more time. So let's go up to 22 gram, and then I think 22 gram. So, so a couple ways to slow down your shot, uh, give you a better extraction. Dosing amounts, obviously, the finer grounder setting. But since right now I'm in number eight right now, if I go down to number seven. Uh, I think that's too much jump there, but if we up, up my dosing amounts, I think it might do, okay. 
So let's do one more, one more shot here. So right now I'm at 21 gram here. I got 21. I'm just gonna add another gram into it. Another gram. That's 20. I got 20. Hold on, almost there. Bingo. I got exactly 22 grams. So again, so so far we did try the first time we pretty much were at zero dose. Uh, I mean, zero retention there. I got 22 grams there. Let's dump it into single dosing chamber. Okay. So right about done. Once your grinding is finished, you're gonna spin for another second or so. So right now I'm just gonna pump it. Yeah. Pretty much it. You got 22.5 gram. Okay, so we are hiding somewhere. Yeah. So let's find that 0.5 gram. 21.79, so 20.8 gram. Yeah, okay, 0.2 gram off. I take it. So you figure like 0.1 to 0.2 gram. I know some of you out there, you know, we are doing this pretty outrageous, okay? We are trying to get that 0.1 gram or 0.2 gram, get out of it. I know this is, some people think this is silly, but you know what, I mean, it's making coffee is kind of like fun and is a ritual, okay? So, yes, it might be look silly, but and, I mean, this is a great way to like kind of like trying to figure it out, you know, dialed in your shot. And if you haven't done it yet, try one, okay? Try one weekend. I mean, this is a lot of fun. So, I'm just going to flush. Flush my portal filter. So there's a lot of, you know, there's the way to, so this, again, so this is part of the dialing process. So whenever you guys got a brand new coffee beans and, you know, make sure, trying to find out what's the best way to extract it. So hopefully if you talk to the, if you buy from local roasters, ask them, hey, you know, what's the best way to put espresso or what's the way, best way to do like V60, like pour over method. Just ask, and then uh, you, uh, they're going to give you the recipe for that. Okay, I'm just gonna do one more time here. I'm just gonna do, use my coffee rake. I mean, if you're just joining us, uh, welcome to the channel. Okay, welcome. Uh, Okay, I mean, this one does fantastic job, fantastic job, hundred percent better than paper clip. So I'm at right now twenty two gram. Okay, I'm just going to prepare the puck here. Comes the puck pressure, just consistent. It doesn't have to be 30 pounds, you know, just as long as you're consistent every time. And then now you have a nice clean puck to work with. Uh, we're gonna do the same thing. All right, actually this one, we're gonna extract 22. So I like, I like one to two ratio. So let's go for around 44 gram or 45 if we can. So last one, we had a slight uh, channeling, but we're safe. But at least we are evenly distributed though. Yeah, the copies me looks good lately with this bottomless portion. Here we go.
Okay. Looks good. Oh, I got some channeling there a little bit. I got 42 grand. I mean, overall, this is great shot. Okay, a little bit of channeling, but it's not too bad. By the way, so this this is one of my favorite scale. It's called G Dealer Scale from Amazon. But do not spill any coffee on LCD screen. Because as you can see, over the years, I got a stain on it. So, so this is one downside of that, this scale. I mean, again, the shot looks beautiful. Yeah. Shot looks great. Again, uh, we got some little bit of channeling, but you know what? Not bad. I mean, you know, this is only a $600 coffee machine. And especially with a lighter roast. I mean, we, this machine does an amazing job. Because whenever I use the medium to darker roast, whenever I pull the bottom left shot, it's perfect, okay, flawless. But even with the lighter roast, does, I mean, this is really, does fine job. So, I mean, if you guys are thinking about getting Breeze of Express or Pro, I mean, you, you won't be disappointed. By the way, I don't get, there's no commission from Brabber, okay? I'm saying it because I like it. So, <laughs> cheers, guys. So this is the second shot, uh, a coffee from Newberry, actually coffee from Luanda, okay, Luanda, and cheers. Okay. Okay. It's oh now now I can taste the honey. Wow. Man. Took me a while, okay? Took me yesterday about three different shots to dial them the Hondura one. Tricky. And just make sure, uh, change your temperature to highest, okay? Like plus four if you can. And dosing amounts, make sure play with it, all depends. So I am using, obviously, you know, bottomless pore filter, but the, this filter basket, so this is uh, just the Amazon filter baskets. So between like 18 and 22 gram baskets. So this is just the Amazon uh, replacement basket. Uh, it's not a bribery basket, it's just the Amazon basket. So I'm gonna put the link down below as well. I am getting the precision basket from IMS for a uh, 54 millimeter port filter. Hopefully this week, okay? Hopefully this week. Uh, they say they sent me one a couple of days ago, so we'll see. And uh, so I'm, we are going to do some fun comparison uh, coming up and this week as well. So overall, uh, single dose works, but uh, the the guy selling it from Etsy, and, and so yesterday I gave you guys price, I say $84. Uh, there was just the base only. If you want the full set, you're looking at $100. So what I told them yesterday, uh, can, you, uh, can you give our viewers a uh, discount on it, and he told me, I'm gonna put the link down below again. Uh, he give you guys 10 percent off. I know it is still expensive, okay? Still 90 bucks. So I've been talking to him, give it even like deeper discounts for you guys, hopefully. By the way, I don't get any uh, commission for it, no kickback for, for, for it. So, you know, it's, I'm just, you know, trying to, you know, get some good discount for you guys. So hopefully, okay, I mean, is that worth the, is that worth hundred dollars? Let's be honest. I mean, nothing is, okay. Nothing is worth hundred dollars to trying to save 0.1 or 0.2 grand. Okay. I have to say that up front. It's, it's not worth it, but is that cool gadget? Yes, it is definitely cool. Okay. It looks good. You know, you don't waste a lot of coffee beans. You know, that's a lot easier than, you know, using hopper. Yep. It's definitely, you know, it's, it's fun, it's fun gadget, okay? I mean, just like my tours here, my San Anthony industry, this block party, 350 bucks. Is that worth it? No, of course not. It's, it's nothing's worth $350. But is that cool? Yes. 
Okay, so there's a lot of cool factor. By the way, this is worth 29 bucks, by the way. So this, even if this is the plastic, I have to say, this is the best uh, tools money can buy for if you're on Bravo Express or Pro. I know this is piece of plastic, but man, Jonathan did a fantastic job designing it. Definitely worth it. But that one's worth it. And any tools I have, not. But this one is worth it. Uh, so this one, again, the coffee, it's, it's called Puck Rake. Okay, Puck Rake, or you know, they have a different name for that. But it looks amazing, you know, you know what? If you, have a, if you drink wine, or if your friend drink wine, uh, ask for their wine cork leftover, and then get some needle from Amazon. So acupuncture needle, or, so this one is like guru pet cleaning needle, okay? And just make sure cut the end off. If not, you're gonna be uh, poke yourself. So just cut the end. I mean, I hope you guys can see it, but I mean, they're extremely flexible, works, does an amazing job. Because I used to use this paper clip, this ugly paper clip. Yeah, but it's not that great. So, so I was able to get 10% uh, off for this device here, but I'm, I, I'm talking to him more, okay? I'm, I'm hoping if he's can, you know, if he can give you guys even deeper discounts, and I definitely let you know, okay? I definitely let you know, uh, give you guys an update on my even Instagram or on YouTube, okay? Because um, st uh, I, I was able to get a 10% off. So you're looking at 90 bucks, plus you have to pay tax on that top of that, so you'll go back to 100 bucks. So 10% is kind of like tax anyway. So is that worth 100 bucks? Man, guys, that's a tough call, okay? Uh, personally, it's not, I mean, personally, it's not safe, you know, saving a couple of grams of coffee, make a single dose, it's not worth 100 bucks. I'd be, I'd be happy to, you know, just, I mean, you guys saw me with a hot bar, I just kind of like tapping it. I get pretty much out anyway. But if you guys are looking for something cool gadget to have, you know, again, it's just a gadget. So it's up to you guys, but I mean, you know, I mean, that's why I'm showing you in, in a live session so you guys can see the good and the bad. Uh, anyway, so let me work on him more. Uh, hopefully we can get an even deeper discount that we might justify the price, okay? So by the way, coffee is amazing. You know what, since it's only about 8.20 right now, uh, I'm gonna pull the shot, okay? I'm gonna put another shot, same recipe, 22 gram, and then let's try it with the niche, okay? Let's find out is there any taste difference between niche and uh, uh, Brista Express, the grinder. So comes to grinder setting, I'm set it at number 18. Hopefully it works, let's try. I got two shots there. I'm gonna measure 18 gram. Oh, I'm sorry, 22 gram today. Okay, 22 gram. Uh, if you are just joining us, uh, welcome to the morning YouTube live. So we are dialing in uh, Sun Bear Coffee from Saint Petersburg, Florida, I believe. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna do 22 gram this morning. I'm telling you, making coffee is, is a, a lot of fun, okay? It's a lot of fun to make coffee, especially you know if you have a time in the mornings. If you are busy in the morning, just just make sure dialed in like you know over the weekend. And you pretty much use the same similar setting throughout the week, you should be fine. Hold on a second here. I'm looking for my dosing funnel. Okay. So, so, so I got this one from one of a viewer. One of a viewer. It's a really tall dosing funnel, so it fits right into my 3D dosing funnel. So what, what I've been doing. Hopefully, okay, I'm just gonna warm up my shot glass here.
Okay. So because I used to use uh, just a niche dosing cup, okay, and then transfer to uh, dosing, uh, I'm sorry, uh, to, you know, port filter. But this one, just lock it in here, like that, fits right in, okay? So I don't have to worry about it. Okay. So I can do direct dosing from my niche. Like that. Something like hand spray. Works very good. Okay, it looks really good there. I'm just gonna stop it. Okay, so this so that is hundred bucks. This is what six bucks or seven bucks from Amazon to do, do the same thing. <laughs> just like that, okay. Same thing. I think I think one of my viewers mentioned to me what a couple months ago. This is the again the best money can buy for the single dose. I mean, Niche does a great job with this. Yeah, even better job. So now we are good to go. Okay, so let's make some another. Sh let's put another shot here. I'm just gonna use my coffee rake. I don't have to do it because the niche quality is pretty good, but I'm just gonna make sure everything is nice and even. It'd be embarrassing, you know what, if I have a lot of channeling on this coffee this time. Okay. Because it's supposed to be, you know, niche is a lot better quality than built-in grinder there, so. I'm really anxious anxious to see show you guys here. Okay. Yep. So everything is the same, same dosing amount. So let's find that. Let's find that one. Okay. So I'm gonna be doing a 42 gram output. All right. Second guy, here we go. Okay. There's a moment of truth. All right, here we go. Let's try one more. So 22 gram shot here, uh, Lawanda coffee. Yeah, shot looks good. Okay, fantastic there. Not a lot of channeling. Comes to pressure, uh, looks good. No channeling whatsoever. Perfect shot there. Actually, yeah, looks really good, guys. Just beautiful shot, man. I mean, that one I drink that. Yeah, that's really looks fantastic. So this one, uh, I use a 22 gram, okay? And they use a niche grinder. And then let's find out what kind of shot we're gonna get. Smells good. Uh, also, I changed the temperature to plus four as well. Since this is a lighter roast, so you want a more heat to uh, extract the shot. Cheers. Uh, if you're just joining us, uh, welcome. Uh, welcome to the our morning community. Wow, this is it. Man, smooth, bright. Bright means it's not acidic, it's very sweet. And uh, I can definitely taste the honey even more than last one. Man, fantastic. Okay, so I think this is a. So, I mean, if you are planning on upgrading your coffee machine, 
okay, to something else. Instead of upgrading to a better coffee machine, use that money to upgrade to a better coffee grinder, okay? I mean, that's what I recommend. Uh, get a better coffee grinder. The coffee grinder is, as long as you have a pretty decent espresso machine, you are, you are fine. But yes, if you have a lot of money, that's not an issue. Go with, get a Slayer, okay? Get a Slayer with even like the Weber Max Fantastic coffee grinder. So a single dose coffee grinder. So that sets you back, what, 15 grand? But I mean, I mean, if you wanna if you wanna upgrade something better, so if you want to get a better tasting coffee, I think the getting having a better grinder is more important than you know getting a better coffee machine. So, uh, plus we have a lot more options as well. well. Let's see. Any questions this morning? I think we are good. Okay. I think if you have any questions. So again, so I'm I'm I'm. I'm just gonna keep talking to the the owner of this company. I know he's. I have a 10% coupon code. I'm gonna put uh, put it underneath below. But 10%. Okay. I'm I'm hoping to get more for you guys. So let me work on it. Okay. Because still, it's a 10% off. So you're looking at 100 bucks, 10, 90 plus the you back on the tax. So again, you are looking at 100 bucks. Spending 100 bucks on this this entire system. You know what I have to say, okay? It's not it's not worth it. Okay, it looks good. I mean I mean if you have extra money to spend, if you know something fun tools to work with, yes, this is fun. Okay, this is cool gadgets. This is just the gadgets. It's not gonna improve your shot quality. Okay, for sure. I'm so but if I can get the you know, again, I mean if I hopefully I can get the price down for you guys. It might be worth it, okay? It might be worth it, but at this point, it's hard to recommend it to you guys, unless, again, if you like the gadget, it's fine. But, so let me, yeah, let me see, let's see what I can do, okay? Let's see what I can do, because, I mean, you know, my goal for my channel is, you know, get a better stuff, okay? Just better equipment for the affordable price. So, hold on. Ander says he got an update on the hero if you will install it. Okay, so Ender has some update on his uh, latest his grinder project. So yeah, uh, so let's go to quick uh, uh, Instagram live streaming right after this. And then Justin says I'm still curious how he got the spray ends with the active needles in the cord. So, so so Justin asked him about how can I put. Okay, so here's the you know what. Hopefully I can show you. So what I done was first you're gonna cut it, okay? Cut the wine cork, just make sure flat. And uh, I was using my knife. Make sure be careful, okay? So you're gonna cut the end, okay? So nice and flat. And then I use the drill. Uh, I will use the power drill with a very thin, uh, thin drill beads. Uh, just I designed the four. Just drill them. And then use the plier. You're gonna grab the plier and just push it in. Okay, so that so that's how I did it. Because you can, you know, unless you have a really strong finger, it's really tough to do. So use the plier, grab it, and just push it in. So now, I mean they're really in there. It's not going anywhere. Okay. So this is works really, really good. I have to say. That's 0.4 millimeter. Okay. So, uh, so this design uh, from Decent Espresso Machine, if you check out the Decent Espresso, their YouTube channel, they talk about the coffee puck, okay? And then, so I use their design, uh, kind of like three triangle and the with one on the middle. So the I use four. Uh, you can get the, the needle from Amazon for like six bucks. Uh, if you guys want, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the link down below as well, okay? So make sure to check it out. Comes with it, like 12 of them. So you can make like three sets or three or four sets. So, so far I make like three sets. Oh wait, so far I make two sets. So I think I can make one more. Yeah, so that works yeah, Works great. I think we are good this morning. I'm gonna jump into Instagram on live. So talk to Ender for a second. Make sure if you haven't liked this video, make sure you press like right now, okay? And uh, coming week, so tomorrow, 
I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure what we're going to do, but we're going to figure something out. I know some of you are tired of watching Brista products, but you know what? I'm going to, hopefully I'm going to mix it up a little, more, little bit more for you guys. But again, my goal for this year is finding the perfect cup of coffee for you guys, okay? Because even though we have a different taste, and but you know, just like eating a good steak, okay? We know whenever you bite into good steak, you know that steak is good. Doesn't matter who they are, unless you are vegan or vegetarian, okay? So I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. I think I'm I'm looking at my wife. Uh, she's going through all your questions. Look like there's no questions, so we are all good to go. So I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow morning.